I do have questions beyond COVID. Maybe we can start turning to those. The consequences of vaccine resistance appear to be on the rise. Just yesterday, a case of polio was reported in New York in an unvaccinated man. Doctor, how do you shore up trust in vaccines at this moment? Yeah, we've had a very divisive country where it comes to vaccines, um, and that has only grown over the COVID pandemic. And I think one of the things that you're seeing is a challenge related to that. Another challenge that we have, um, data put out from the CDC just a few months ago, demonstrated that incoming kindergartners um, were less vaccinated than they had been in the year prior. So if you look at um, 2019 to 2020, we had less vaccination, 95% compared to 94%. It's just a 1% drop, but it rec rep represents about 35,000 incoming kindergartners who are under vaccinated. Um, so it does speak to the fact that we need growing trust in vaccines um, and this case of polio detrimental to the patient himself, um, but importantly, demonstrating that we really do need, we, we are at a, a, a real public health crossroads if we can't protect communities um, against preventable diseases. One thing we certainly learned the hard way with polio and that this case reiterates, this tragic case reiterates and demonstrates is that we sometimes we can't do anything about the infection after it's happened. And really the most important tools that we have are in prevention and how important it is to get young people and our older populations vaccinated.